What's going on guys and welcome to the channel. If you like SBC tips, trading advice, how to complete objectives and much much more, even player reviews, icon reviews, SBCs for example, daily ones, are they worth it, how to complete them, then why not hit that subscription button, turn on notification bell so you do not miss a future video because we have got all the FIFA content you need on this channel. So EA have released Squad Foundations, Macintosh and Squad Foundations out of the Vizzy. Macintosh I'm assuming is to do with Apple Day and with out of the Vizzy. So you need to score using out of the Vizzy players in six separate matches in Football Foundations with a minimum seven out of the Vizzy players in your starting squad. Assist four goals using these same players in the same game mode with seven players from out of the Vizzy. Score 10 goals and win four games. So the only one's gonna take you less long is gonna be six, uh, scoring six separate matches. You can do this one in one game if you're lucky enough. It'll obviously score 10 goals as well in one game if you're lucky enough and win four games, obviously four games. As long as you're scoring every single time, the other three will come naturally. In the terms of the card, it does look okay to be honest with you. It's a Macintosh, mad name. So it's an 86 rated, you can see acceleration's not great, but sprint speed's okay. Balance is great for a center back. Strength, stamina, jumping, aggression, all really good for a center back. Composure is lacking, but long pass, short pass makes up for it and he's got long pass to trade. So that is going to be the first one. And then we're going to move into our second one, which is the Elder Divisi Squad Foundations. Finesse eight goals in either squad battles or difficulty. Uh, sorry, so finesse eight goals in squad battles and semi-pro or rivals, which is pretty easy. You can do that in one game in squad battles. Just put it on semi-pro and off you go. How many players do you have to have in your start squad? So none. You just have to finesse with any player, so that's perfect. Then you unlock the goalkeeper. Assist eight goals with crosses in Elder Divisi squad battle matches. For minimum professional difficulty or rivals with seven starting players. So again, not too bad. You just keep spamming across. You pick the lowest rated team, keep spamming across. Score using Elder Divisi players in eight separate squad battle matches or rivals with, again, seven minimum. And you get yourself a right back there. And then we have win 10 games of squad battles or rivals with seven. And you get yourself a striker. So over we get one, two, three. And this guy here, four, with a load of packs. So four players there, not too bad. Let's go have a look at this friendlies game mode here. So we have got football foundations. You need a max 78, zero bronze players, and 89 higher overall and zero. So you can have players from the same league, minimum seven and max overall. So I have already made a team, and this is the other Divisi team that I had. Obviously, remove this. We can go higher rated now, so I did expect it to be um, 77 rated. So this is the teams we have. The reason I've gone for Tadic, obviously, you can have anyone else that's lower rated if you need to. But I needed someone who was going to finish the chances for me. And I was obviously having paces. We've got 89 paces. You can see here, four-star, four-star, perfect, 75 rated, really high pace. Not the greatest shooting, but if you get through on your opponent, you're going to score nine out of ten times. Obviously, Tadic is a red pick. You can go for normal Tadic, or you can get Haller, for example, or Zavahi, or Zahavi even, sorry. And these three-star, four-star, really good finishing, great traits. And then we have gone for pace on the left-hand side with Bruma. Again, just pace, nothing else in particularly great there. Finishing that's not the greatest, but agility and balance is great. So it's going to be good for getting in behind. Then we have got ourselves the player of the month tilt. Again, you can use any other midfielder. If you've got yourself the storyline player, the 15 as a winger, you can obviously use him if you want to. We went for a low rated midfielder here. He's just going to do the job, but we are going to swap him out and put this guy in for him, as like this basically, just to get that pace in. And then we have managed for myself, I packed of myself an untradeable one to watch Burkhoise, who's going to get the job done. So Tadic is lacking. I will swap these two over. Then we've got just a Dutch right mid, or right back, sorry, who's just quite very rounded. And then we just went for one league here. Again, you can use any types of players here. It can be Elder Divisi, but that does cover us in seven. We have got eight players from the Elder Divisi, which is perfect. And that will get us straight into the game. You wanted to, you can make a whole Elder Divisi team, but I imagine these prices are going to be slightly inflated. And then that will cover you for, let me go back to the objective, but this one will cover you only for this objective here. So the Macintosh one, you need to do this in that friendlies mode and you can't do it with friends and it has to be single player. And then we can use the exact same team to finish off the um, the squad foundation. So what I'd recommend doing is finishing off the squad recommendation, the squad foundations first, get that done through squad battles, just take your time, chill, do it. Once you've got a few of these players, you can add a couple of amends. For example, this right back and the striker is gonna help me out massively. Then you go into squad foundation. It's here for 61 days, so you've got plenty of time to finish it. 
And then you can get yourself the last card and you've got yourself four, at least 84 to 86 rated players from the other divisi in your team, ready for icon swaps and much, much more. If you have any questions, please comment down below. If you are new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscription button, turn on the notification bell so it's a future video, and I'll catch you in the next one.